Welcome back to Lian Kill and welcome to part 24, 100 dividend a month challenge. We just finished our six month mark. We're halfway point through the year and we have some uh, interesting things to share with you guys. So let's jump right to it. Um, we had set ourselves a goal to try and reach $50 in dividends for the month of June so that we can reach that $100 by the end of the year. Uh, we are going to share with you guys our dividend for this month of June to see whether or not we achieved that goal or not. So, but first of all, let's talk about our portfolio. Our portfolio is, is stably in the 32s. Um, we've been keeping up with our investment during these couple of weeks, especially for the month of June. Specifically, we've invested into the dividend sector, not necessarily into the company sector. And the stock market has been going up and down during these recent days. It's uh, a lot of red uh, in the stock market. So let's jump right into it to see what we have in our portfolio. Disney has been uh, slowly uh, going into the 170s instead of the 180s, which is fine. Uh, we are still uh, looking to see if it goes a little bit lower on the price to start investing back again into the Disney company. In the SCIV, we're still at 200. In our Master of Income ETF, this is, has been our investment for these couple of, of weeks. And this is our investment for this week as well. We bought 30 stocks to round it up to the 250 mark. Bank of America, we're still at 20. Uh, QLD, we're, we're still at 250. And these are our red sectors, Verizon Wireless, um, has been going slightly down as well as Cirrus has been going slightly down as well as Sunny but we're still optimistic we're still good Sunny is still a, a, uh, we see it as a good buy let's see what happens uh, as well as Verizon and Cirrus is for the long run so this is our portfolio it's very straightforward so let's jump right to something a little more interesting I know that you guys will appreciate a little bit more so let's jump right into our dividend portfolio for our month of June too. We hit and not only did we hit, we exceeded our mark for the $50 for the mid year. We added $88.10 for the month of June. We received what $21.50 from our master ETF. We received $14.52 from SDIV and we received Forty-eight with forty-eight from QYLD and three dollars sixty cents from Bank of America, rounding it up to eighty-eight ten. This is a very good month for us. It's actually the best month we've ever had in our investment. And if you go down to what January, how we started with twenty-one dollars all the way back to eighty-eight dollars, that's basically a four times what we received for the month of January. From for some people, this may be something very small, but if you come to look at it, we four times the amount of dividends that we had uh, starting the year by mid-year, which is very, very uh, interesting for us. It's very uh, gratifying for us because it's a show to see that if you keep on doing, you keep on investing, uh, you'll see your growth. And this is a very simple way to see that growth. Uh, we are expecting to hit that $100 mark by July, maybe into August. But if we hit it by July, that gives us a full quarter to start investing more aggressively into our companies to give us some time to maybe, uh, instead of investing all the week, hold on to that money and look for good prices into our company. So that is our expectation for the rest of the year. We still have our second goal that we uh, hit, that is that $100, but we also have to try and reach that 50K by the end of the year. Let's see what happens. We're very optimistic for the rest of the year. We wanted to share with you guys that we've achieved that milestone and we are expecting to finish this challenge by the end of July. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, challenge as much as we are. But always remember to have that king mentality.